Is far worse, <laughs> far far worse, and I would say that on both ends, it's far far worse, particularly for men, particularly for the male end of uh, things, because um, they're bringing a lot to the t look to, uh, to get the lifestyle the one percent create. It's traveling, it's jet lag, it's uh, years of college, it's lots of bills, it's lots of stress, it's lots of negotiation. For a woman to then access that, all it is is she has to know what he likes sexually, and he she will access that life. It's that simple for her. And she doesn't even have to be, she doesn't have to be somebody who is uh, traditional. She doesn't have to be somebody who is respectful. She doesn't have to be somebody who it knows how to cook or is a good mother. When the men become the 1%, they get less critical and less focused on all the other traits and they just focus on their stress relief. And women and sex becomes their stress relief. So that's what they go for. And as a man becomes more successful, I, in my personal experience, they are far more likely to marry and invest in gold diggers and escorts. They are not looking for wives as they get to the top. They are actually looking for women, human kind of stress relief in the form of just whoever pleases them sexually. Have you ever noticed how some men seem to get blinder in choosing partners as they get more successful? Sadia Khan totally nails it when she says top earning men often just look for sexual satisfaction and an ego boost. Like, seriously, can you imagine? They're so busy and desperate that they miss out on real connections. These guys aren't even looking for women who are traditional, respectful, or good mothers. They just want someone who's sexually available. I mean, how crazy is that? Think about it. The more materialistic a man becomes, the more he's going to attract women who are just as materialistic. It's like they're setting themselves up for superficial relationships. Do you think this is true? Have you seen this happen in real life? Let's chat about this. Do you agree with Sadia? How do you think success changes the way people pick their partners? Drop your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.